fill in the blanks 1 scarcity of resources gives race to blank answer the problem of choice 2 in a centrally planned economy all important decisions are made by blank answer the government 3 in reality all economies are blank answers mixed economies 1 economic problem arise due to blank of resources and alternative uses of means answers scarcity 2 blank underscore cost is the cost of next best alternative for gone answers opportunity 3 when marginal rate of transformation is constant the ppc would be blank line answers straight 4 moving from one point on ppc to another point of ppc is known as blank answers trade-off 5 the usual shape of ppc is underscore blank towards the origin answers concave 6 cotton textile industry in an economy is an example of underscore blank study answers microeconomic 7 blank is a schedule that shows various combinations of two goods which can be produced by an economy with given resources and technology answers production possibility schedule 8 a mechanism through which the scarce resources are prioritized and organized for the production of goods and services with the intervention of government is called as blank answers economy 9 an economy where the economic decisions are taken through the market mechanism i a demand and supply is called as blank answers market economy 10 a blank economy is one where there is coexistence of both public and private sector enterprises answers mixed 11 the study of what is and what was under the given circumstances is called blank economics answers positive 12 the study of what should be or what ought to be is called co economics answers normative 13 study of consumer behavior is an example of blank answers microeconomics studies 14 study of price determination in the market is an example of blank answers microeconomics studies 15 the basic functions of an economy are blank 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 and blank answers production distribution consumption and exchange answer the following questions in a sentence word question one why does the problem of choice arise answer every society has to face scarcity of resources and it is the scarcity of resources that gives rise to the problem of choice question two what is market economy answer an economy where the economic decisions are taken through the market mechanism i.e demand and supply is called as market economy Question 3. What do you mean by centrally planned economy? Answer. In a centrally planned economy, the government or the central authority plans all the important activities in the economy. All important decisions regarding production, exchange and consumption of goods and services are made by the government. Question 4. Give the meaning of microeconomics. Answer. Microeconomics studies the behavior of individual economic agents in the markets for different goods and services and try to figure out how prices and quantities of goods and services are determined through the interaction of individuals in these markets. Question 5. What do you mean by positive economics? Answer. The study of what is and what was under the given circumstances is called positive economics. Question 6. What is normative economics? Answer. The study of what should be or what ought to be is called normative economics. Answer the following questions in four sentences. Question 1. Mention the central problems of an economy. Answer. The central problems of an economy are. What is produced and in what quantities? How are these goods produced? For whom are these goods produced? Question 3. Distinguish between positive and normative economics. Answer. Positive economics. Here we study what is and what was under given circumstances. Here we study how different mechanism function. Normative economics. Here we study what ought to be or what should be done and what is good and bad under given circumstances. Here we try to understand whether these mechanisms are desirable or not. Question 4. What do you mean by production possibility set? Answer. The collection of all possible combinations of the goods and services that can be produced from a given amount of resources and a given stock of technological knowledge is called the production possibility set. Question 5. What is opportunity cost? Answer. Opportunity cost can be defined as the cost of next best alternatives clarified in order to produce that good. Question 6. 
What is production possibility frontier? Answer. It is a curve which depicts all possible combinations of two goods which an economy can produce with the available resources and given technology. Answer the following questions in 12 sentences. Question 1. Briefly explain the production possibility frontier. Answer. It is a curve which depicts all possible combinations of two goods which an economy can produce with the available resources and given technology. Properties of PPF PPC is downward sloping curve because in a full employment economy, the production of one good can be increased only by sacrificing the other good. PPC is concave to the origin because of increasing marginal opportunity cost. PPC can shift leftwards or rightwards. Question 2. Briefly explain the central problems of an economy. Answer. Introduction. Human wants are unlimited and the resources to satisfy these wants are very limited. Hence there is a gap between our wants and resources and hence the problem of choice arises and it is called as economic problem. There are three fundamental problems in every economy. 1. What to produce problem of choice. 2. How to produce problem of technology. 3. For whom to produce problem of distribution. What to produce problem of choice. As resources are scarce, an economy cannot produce everything in infinite quantity, say food or clothing, more food or little clothing or vice versa. What shall be produced today and tomorrow? All these questions arise because of limited resources. Thus the problem of choice arises. The economy must choose the commodity, its quantity and quality. How to produce problem of technology. This problem is relating to choice of technology. There are two techniques of production, labor-intensive technique, more labor is used in production than capital. Capital-intensive technique, more capital is used in production than labor. The choice between these two techniques arises because the former technique generates employment opportunities and the latter rises efficiency. Thus the society has to choose the right technique of production between these two techniques depending on resources and requirement. For whom to produce problem of distribution, for whom shall goods be produced that is who is to enjoy and get the benefit of the goods and services produced? Human wants and resources vary from region to region. The individuals may belong to economically weaker section or rich. Therefore, the problem of distribution arises. Question 3. Write a short note on a centrally planned economy. Answer. In a centrally planned economy the government or the central authority plans all the important activities in the economy all important decisions regarding production, exchange and consumption of goods and services are made by the government. The central authority may try to achieve a particular allocation of resources and a consequent distribution of the final consumption of goods and services which is thought to be desirable for society as a whole. The government concentrates on the well-being and prosperity of the economy as a whole, e.g. education or health service, is not produced in adequate amount by the individuals on their own, the government might try to induce the individuals to produce adequate amount of such a good or service. Whenever it is necessary the government may intervene in few situations and try to achieve an equitable distribution of goods and services. Question 4. Write a short note on market economy. Answer. In a market economy, all economic activities are organized through the market. A market is an institution which organizes the free interaction of individuals pursuing their respective economic activities. In a market system, all goods and services come with a price at which the exchanges take place. Prices serve as indicator to producer and consumers. In a market system, the central problems regarding how much and what to produce are solved through the coordination of economic activities brought about by the price signals. This type of economy exists in the USA, Japan, Australia and other countries. Question 5. State the assumptions of production possibility analysis. Answer. The four key assumptions underlying production possibilities are 1. The resources available are fixed. 2. The technology remains constant. 3. The resources are fully and efficiently employed. 4. The resources are not equally efficient in the production of one good to another. The cost of production increases, i.e., marginal opportunity cost increases. Question 7. Explain the uses of microeconomics. Answer. Microeconomics plays a significant role in economic analysis. It has both theoretical and practical validity. In the words of Keynes, microeconomics is a necessary part of one's apparatus of thought. 1. Allocation of resources Microeconomics studies the behavior of an individual consumer or firm in a particular situation. 
Resources are scarce and therefore it needs to be allocated properly. Microeconomics helps in proper allocation and optimum utilization of these resources to produce various goods and services. 2. To understand the working of the economy, microeconomics helps in understanding the working of free enterprise economy. It gives an idea about how major economic decisions are taken in a market economy. 3. Price determination, microeconomics also helps to determine the relative prices of various goods and services based on demand and supply. 4. Optimum utilization of resources, microeconomics explains the conditions of efficiency in both production and consumption and departure from the optimum level. With this the resources can be optimally utilized. 5. Economic policy, microeconomics helps in formulating various economic policies and economic plans to promote all-round economic development. 6. International trade, microeconomics is useful to explain gains from international trade, balance of payments and determination of exchange rate. 7. Market structure, microeconomics not only analyzes economic conditions but also studies the social needs under different market conditions like monopoly, duopoly, oligopoly etc. 8. Analysis of tax policy, microeconomics helps the government in fixing the rate and type of tax as well as the amount of tax to be charged to the buyer and the seller. It is also helpful to understand the consequences of taxation.